It was a really good series win, thank you. Uh, pretty happy with that. We know New Zealand wasn't, uh, wasn't a, a full strength team, and so weren't we. So we were also not. And um, I don't think we played great cricket for most of the series, except for today we sort of clicked a little bit. And with bat and ball, we were really um, smart most of the time. And I feel we, we played the pressure moments really well. Um, there was a big pressure moment with the bat in hand after 20, 30 overs, somewhere there, uh, where Dave and I got a bit, a bit of momentum going. And, and Fudge, you followed through after that, um, but lots of credit to Morna and Hash as well for a really good fun, uh, foundation set up front. And then uh, the breaking point came after 20 overs, and, and we, we got through that, and Dave and I. So it was a really important moment in the game. And then we had a near flawless uh, innings with a with ball in hand, I believe, except for the few catches that went down. I thought the commitment and the urgency and um, <clears throat> intensity the bowlers bowled with, bowled, bowled with tonight and um, just the thought processes that went to in, into the game plans um, was spot on tonight and uh, lots of credit to the bowlers. Having experienced in, uh, this being my home ground, um, it's always a, I always feel that it's a case of if it's sunny you bat and if it's overcast you, you bowl. But, um, there's always something there for the bowlers, and I think it's, it is that extra bounce, that Kingsmead bounce, that it's just finding the right length. Um, and it's usually a bit fuller, so getting driven is not a bad option. And edges and that usually carry, and like we saw tonight, they, they did all the way through. So it's a case of finding that length and, and hitting it hard consistently. It would have been nice for, for Tommy and myself to, to push the partnership a bit longer. Um, you know, I played a poor shot. Um, and, and there were some other poor shots throughout the innings that, um, you know, although it's a, it's a tough total to chase, um, you know, South Africa bowled very well, made it, um, you know, an even larger total, I suppose, because we had to play that much better. But, um, you know, when you do take it deeper, it's surprising, um, you know, what you can chase. And, you know, we weren't able to do that today, a little bit like the first game. Um, we, we never quite got the upper hand um, in terms of momentum in the innings, which, I mean, that always makes it difficult to, to chase large totals and, you know, that was the case today. What I am proud of is the fact that it wasn't an easy wicket to bat on. Um, I really th felt I could get out on it in time and I didn't allow that to happen. I showed a bit of fight out there. I, th I thought it was really important for me to, to get a 50 partnership with Dave. Um, it was a crucial time in the uh, period in the game and um, uh, the way Dave played as well, he, he moved really well to crease and, and <clears throat> I fed off him a bit and I think he fed off me as well. So. A really nice partnership. He actually told me yesterday that he's, he's got a good feeling for the two of us, so it actually worked out really well. Um, and I, I felt the game turned there a little bit. Uh, we injected a lot of momentum with a bat in hand and eventually got to 280. We never thought it was even close to possible. So um, it was nice. It was a nice total for the bowlers to, to bowl to tonight. Yeah, I think both wickets we played on uh, T20 and this one have, have been pretty good. Um, no complaints. I've been asking the groundsman for ages to leave grass in it, and it always. Every time he does, it seems to just bounce a bit. Um, sometimes a bit sort of two-paced and doesn't quite come on. Like Avi said, it was tough to bat out there. And knowing this ground pretty well, it was a case of holding our line length as long as possible. And eventually, I mean, it, it cracked. I mean, we might not have broken through early on, but um, I thought we held the pressure incredibly well tonight and they just never got ahead of the rate or close to it. When you are put under pressure with very good bowling um, that South Africa, South Africa did, um, you know, it can lead to, to mistakes and, and decisions, um, and, and I suppose that's all part of it. You now it's important that we learn as individuals and as a team to, to keep moving our, our cricket forward. Um, you know, the series in general has been fantastic for us in terms of guys uh, learning, you know, against one of the top sides in the world um, and, and very much competing. And, you know, it's, it's important that we are learning and improving all the time today. You know, it certainly wasn't a step up from previous performances, which, you know, it had to be um, to, to beat the side here in these conditions. But, um, you know, at the same time, it's, it's not a step backwards, it's, it's a learning curve. So I was quite surprised by all the catches that went down. The fielding wasn't great. But as I mentioned earlier, I, I saw a lot of commitment out there tonight and the intensity was at the right level. I don't mind catches going down, I don't mind us misfielding. As long as we show that kind of commitment and, and the passion that we should be showing uh, wearing the, the logo, on our, logo on our hearts and then I'm, I'm, I'm a very happy and proud captain. So I'm not too worried about that. We train hard, we work really hard. We had a great session with Ray Jennings and um, if catches go down, it's part of the game. We don't try to do that. Um, so hopefully we'll fix that very soon. And it's a little bit out of characteristic um, 
I would have thought. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. I'm sure both teams were practicing hard and taking most of them in, in training. I suppose it's you know um, a bit of added pressure. Um, you know, it's very difficult to to come up with one answer that that places on drop catches. No one needs to do it. Um, and and you like to think it doesn't happen that often. But you're right. There were quite a few in this series, and you know that's the way it goes. I've never shown any interest in stats uh, like that and and records. Um, I enjoyed the wondrous hundreds, or the fastest hundreds, um, but never really. It's never crossed my mind that that's why I play the game, and I, I, I don't enjoy records like that in stats. Um, what does 8,000 runs mean? I mean, what about 8,020? Um, so I just, I just want to score runs for the team and, and have an impact, and I had an impact today, and that's what I'm proud of.